little cryptic part checking out one of his ghouly magazines. <laughs> Which gives you a little hint about tonight's bedtime story. It's all about the way some guys just die over a pretty girl. But don't worry, kiddies. If it starts to reek a little of rotted romance, I think the title of our nasty narrative makes no bones about where its heart is really at. I call it The Thing from the Grave. Bruckner? Bruckner, where is she? Answer me, God damn it! Is she all right? Yeah, she's just fine. I wish I could say the same for you, big guy. Oh. Tell me something, is that the shoulder she used to cry on? Or was it the other one? Sorry there's no headstone. Ten Commandments were carved in stone. You remember the Ten Commandments, don't you? Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife as part of the deal. She's not your wife. Oh, she will be pretty soon. Why don't you get your ass in there? What happened to thou shalt not kill? Fuck it. I want you to remember one thing before you go to hell, you miserable piece of shit. Remember, she's mine. Not yours. She's mine. Yeah, good, 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 good. Uh-huh, one more. All right, and everyone take their first positions, please. Okay, great. Oh my God, this is cheesy. So is it gonna say anything? Definitely a high cheese factor. It's that guy. Well, I tell you what, they love him in Japan. Okay, now, isn't this better than being on an authentic tropical island getting all hot and sweaty? <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I like getting all hot and sweaty. Hey, boss. Why don't I hold the can in my other hand? I mean, like, my character is, you know, hanging with these babes and stuff, so I was just thinking, party down. Party down, absolutely. Knock yourself out, pal. Uh, excuse us. Excuse us. He's a real brain surgeon. How the hell do you deal with a guy like that? I'll tell you what, it beats working for a living. <laughs> okay, uh, Maria. There you go. God, she's hot, isn't she? And uh, who might you be, by the way? Uh, Mitch Bruckner. I'm uh, Stacy's manager. Uh-huh. I'm also her fiancé. 
Stacy, why don't you give us a little three-quarter turn, a little taste of bud, you know? Okay. Spice it up. Listen, uh, Looking good. Uh, Mike, uh, Butch. Mitch. 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 Um, Stacy wants to make you really proud of her. Isn't that right? Right. Okay, and, uh, and we're under just a little bit of a time pressure right here. Right. So go out and you get yourself a little bit of coffee, okay? <laughs> are, are you, um, are, are you suggesting that I'm, I'm making Stacy nervous? No. Because I'm not making her nervous, you understand? If anybody's making her nervous, I think it's you. Because you're hitting on her every two seconds, you understand what I'm saying? I got an idea. Why don't you take this nice long lens of yours, get it nice and covered with Vaseline, and shove it up your fucking ass! Get some shots the inside of your asshole, hot shot. I love that guy. All right, let's lose the lights and everybody take ten. Uh, wow. That dude is a bummer. Yeah, boy. Thanks for the input. That's a swell boyfriend you got there. I'm really sorry. No, no, no. Look, it doesn't it doesn't matter. He can really be sweet sometimes. I think things just haven't been going well for him lately. Really? With you to come home to? I don't know. I'm... So... Listen, I know that it's none of my business, but can I ask you a personal question? He seems like, I don't know, like he's a bomb, you know, just waiting to go off. Does he ever uh, get rough? If, uh, if, he, if he did, and I'm not saying that he's going to, right? But, uh, but if he did, and you needed some place to come to kind of cool out, this is a uh, key to my studio. And what I have here is I have an extra bed, and I have a television set, and I have a, a refrigerator over there. What do you think? Not interrupting anything, am I? I guess it was pretty forward of me to give you that key, huh? I guess it was kind of forward of me to use it. Well, as long as we're being so goddamn forward. Look, I have some, uh, something I'd like to give to you. An old blind lady gave this to me. She said that it was the Mayan god of truth. And if you make a promise while you're holding it, no matter what, you're going to keep that promise. It's corny, isn't it? <laughs> Look, it's over with him, okay? I had some hard times and he was there. I guess that's why I stayed so long. Hi, Owen. Wait a minute, don't you think that you're paid up, Stace? Come on, this asshole has been using you. I know, I know. Okay, okay, well, if you know that, then why don't you tell him? I'm afraid. I don't know what he'll do. Listen to me. You don't have to be afraid anymore. Whatever happens, I'll be there, right? I'll protect you. I promise.
Hi, you've reached Devlin Cates. Please leave a message. Thank you. Hello. 